it a twister or a tornado? No, it's the Maruti Suzuki Devil Circuit Corporate Challenge Season 4 Quarterfinals. <laughs> The storm of the century, and by all indication, it ain't stopping anytime soon. It's only going to get even more intense here on out. India's fittest corporations battling it out for a whopping 6 lakhs rupees prize fund with the fastest contestant in the final driving home in an all-new Maruti Suzuki Swift. Just a few moments to go before we kick off yet another quarter-final match here on the Devil Circuit. But before that, let's check in on the rules. The remaining eight teams have been divided into two groups, A and B. Each group now consists of four teams. Each team will race the other three teams within that group. Each match consists of three races, where players from one team will race the players from the opposing team. And it's the team with the highest circuit finishes within a match that takes the win. In the case of no finishers, the team with two or three wins in the heats will be declared the match winner. Each win gives a team 10 points. And it's the top two from each group that will make it to the semi-finals. The position will also determine the seedings, with the Group A top-ranked side facing the second team in Group B and vice versa. And here's how the course shapes up at the quarterfinal stage. First, test your metal is back. Here contestants need to provide the right answer to a very tricky question or face a time penalty before moving on to the angle run, a slippery metal chasm where they leap across from side to side to get to Bell the Cat. They must climb the rope to ring that bell before heading to the boardwalk, a straight back board where contestants must hang on and push themselves forward to reach the corporate climber. Here they'll have to climb the underside and pull themselves up to slide smoothly down to the super swing. It's another rope obstacle, this one, but here you require holding on and swinging to arrive at the devilish free fall, where contestants must swing and generate momentum to reach the corporate ladder. A wobbly version of the monkey bars with a tricky gap to overcome. And then, and only then, it's back to the final obstacle, the summit, where they run up a 14-foot curved wall to reach the buzzer. And remember, only the time of the first person to reach that buzzer counts. You know, amidst all the high stakes action here, the intensity and the competitiveness of the circuit, there's always time for some good old fashioned fun. And to that end, earlier today, I hitched a ride with the athletes on their way to the course and together we had a good old fashioned sing along. Are you ready guys? Yeah. There we go. I don't know but I'm in top. I don't know but I'm in top. The devil circuit's paid with gold. The devil circuit's paid with gold. Run my race as fast as can be. Run my race as fast as can be. We'll make the semi-finals, you'll see. We'll make the semi-finals, you'll see. Six lakhs. Six lakhs. New car. New car. Six lakhs. New car. Six lakhs. New car. Time to do or die for emphasis. They coming into this match with a win and a loss. Which means, Sanan, that only a win will do for them. It's time to get big or go home. Emphasis versus concentric. Get ready for Sandeep Rahul versus Sushant Shah. Both athletes seem pumped as they race side by side. Really nice. Sushant had a scare on the super swing, but eventually came out standing. Sandy fell and then Sushan took the race home. Yudista came onto the course with vengeance on his mind as Shivam's mistake cost him. After that, there were no mistakes from Yudista as he took the summit and levelled the match. So, with a semi final berth on the line, it came down to Hidden Patel and Farhan Shah. Three, two, one. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching the Marty Suzuki Copper Challenge Season 4 and quarterfinal race between Varun Shah from Concentrix and Hiriel Patel, the absolute brilliant Hiriel Patel from Infosys Pune. Varun Shah definitely has some mighty catching up to do with Hiriel Patel, especially having his first question absolutely befuddling him. Well, this must be heartbreak for Concentrix. They led in this crucial do or die quarterfinal clash by one heat to nil after the stunning run from Sushant Shah. But Yudhista Reddy just moments ago levelled it up and now Hiram Patel has got the ability to make emphasis come from behind and grasp that last remaining place available in our stunning semi-final lineup, which is on the way shortly. 
Varen Sharp, a two-time failure at the corporate ladder already in the quarterfinals, was up against it on the form book. And this form of Hiram Patel means I think Inverzis Sananda are going to be that four semi-finalists. But he still has to worry about free fall, which yes, has caught better men than Hiram Patel out already today. Yes, those muscles are absolutely tired. But this man definitely has the cardiovascular energy and because he's, he's an athlete, all-run athlete. He runs, he cycles, he swims, he treks. Trust you me, he needs every ounce of that muscle and everything inside him to actually get him through that corporate climber, which he's already gotten through, swing through it and get to the free fall. Baron so he's not getting lurking. over that. Well, he's lurking. Very he's got to get over it because uh, he's got to uh, rely. Uh, uh, oh, he's gone. Uh, he's uh, gone. Uh. That could be it then. That could be all she wrote. He's relying on this being a disaster for Hiram Patel. It's just free fall, surely, between Hiram Patel and the semi-final spot for his team. This is the nervous moment for all his teammates as he swings with the water beneath him. One slip here, and it could be a semi-final dream gone bad. The semi-final dream hasn't turned into a nightmare there. He's just got to get past the corporate ladder. An obstacle that Baron Shah behind him is yet to conquer so far. Oh, how on earth did Baron Shah stay on there? How on earth did Baron Shah stay on there? And all of a sudden, it's almost neck and neck. These are remarkable scenes here. Remember, Baron Shah has yet to claim the corporate ladder. Is he going to time his run to perfection? Is Hiram Patel fighting? Wow, this is absolutely brilliant. Both the best. Whoever gets the to the field. top oh. first will be in the semi finals. Oh, he's done it. Would you believe it? Hiram Patel has survived the comeback of Baron Shah. Spare a thought for Baron Shah, who ran the race of his life. But Hiram Patel is the man that sealed emphasis his place in our semi finals. What a finish for the quarter final stage on season four. Well, 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 the Iron Man of Infosys does it again. He puts the match on the back for Infosys and they secure their place in the semi-finals. The last gasp finish sees them sneak through ahead of Concentrics.